everybody um, I'm gonna talk in this video about the if conditional in um, more focus on the on the function itself I'm not gonna discuss it uh, focusing on the uh, or, or talking about the chemical engineering uh, applications I'm just talking about the if condition as an if conditional so the the if conditional is um, very simple and logical you have an input and you want to check if this input um, is, is gonna match a criteria and if this criteria is matched then you'll do something and if not you'll do something else so this is simply what the if conditional does so we can uh, um, uh, predict that the if condition will require a um, minimum number of inputs which is the uh, the input that, that you you are gonna give the defeat to this function and the condition that you want to check on and what's gonna do when this condition is fulfilled so uh, we will see in this video three cases of the if conditional um, and in this cases we will see that um, uh, as you go from case 1 to case 2 it gets kind of more complex and from case 2 to case 3 it gets more complex and so on so let's start by, by a simple case um, let's say I have uh, x and this x equals 10 and then you want to calculate y which is the square root of uh, of x okay so this is what I'm gonna get um, if you change the value of x to 20 it's gonna calculate it if you change it to 400 it's gonna calculate it if you change it to 1 it's gonna calculate it but if you move to negative 1 it's not gonna calculate because it cannot calculate the square root of minus 1 um, so I want to put a condition here that the MATLAB will calculate the square root of x if the x is greater than or equal to 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and I'm going to put what I can I call an if condition. And, and this is the simplest thing. I'm going to tell it if it is greater than or equals to 0, then uh, calculate the square root and do nothing more other than this. And this is what we... Uh, have here as case one you put if and then all the arguments are between the brackets the logical test the value if true and and here it tells you if checks whether a condition is met and returns the value if true and another value if false so uh, what I'm gonna put as a logical test is um, this is x greater than or equal to zero um, and then the value if true we're gonna be the square root of x and I'm, I'm gonna stop here uh, because the x is 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 not uh, matching the the um, uh, the criteria that or the condition that I put, it is telling me false because I didn't tell it what to do if it is not uh, fulfilled. So um, I'm I'm gonna go back here. I put as for hundred one point oh one. Everything is is gonna work. But if it if I put zero, it's gonna work. But if it's not equal or, or if it's not greater than z zero, you would get this false thing, which is, is this. Uh, so this is the simplest case that you would you would face. Uh, it's the very very basic case of if condition. So now let's go to case two. So this is case one, and let's go to case. Two. So in case two, you will calculate y. However, you will tell it what to do if the value is false. So it's gonna gonna it's gonna be the same thing here. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. But before closing the bracket, you would um, and and you would notice that I put a comma between each input and the other input. So it it knows that I am going from the value if true to the value of false by putting the comma. And now by putting the, the value if false, I want to tell it, for instance, I can calculate another value of y. I would say it's exponential of um, x minus 1. Any any kind of, of, of calculation that you want. So now both both functions are giving the same output if the, the, the function um, or the, the condition is fulfilled. So now if I go to a negative 1, this gives me false. However, this gives me a value. Because this is the I can I can double check I can put it like this, and so so it's giving the same value here. If I'm putting as a negative ten, it's gonna give the same value as here. So it's not telling me false as it, it did before. It's returning a value that I asked. 
One other cool thing that is kind of not very familiar or not very famous about the, the Microsoft Excel in general that you can put the output as a text so you can um, put a message as an output and the message in, in, in Excel is given bit, or, or is, is defined by putting these uh, quotes uh, which is the button uh, to the left side of the enter button um, it's the comma if you press shift comma it's gonna give you uh, I mean uh, apostrophe um, it's gonna give you that so I can write any text uh, please enter a non negative number so it, it's telling me please enter a negative number if, if, if I if I enter <coughs> an negative number it's the three will give the same thing but if it's a negative number this will give false because I didn't tell it what to do here it's gonna calculate the function according to what I told it to do and here it's gonna give me the message that I ask of course you can do the same for the value if true and the value if false so I can for instance but it doesn't make any sense here but in case you want to do that you can uh, put here uh, right input um, and in this case if you put it as 10 it's gonna give you a message right input and these all, all are gonna calculate the uh, the function as you requested. So it it gives you kind of flexibility in, in in doing what uh, or, or or giving you the output that you request in in, in any of these cases. Uh, now we go to the last case and kind of the most uh, complex case. It it's kind of not very complex, but it is uh, not not very. Uh, easy to get so the case 3 what we call the nested if conditions to understand the nested if condition let me um, see an example here uh, I don't remember where was it it was uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm checking it in the notes of MATLAB because it was kind of a good example there um, the if conditional the nested decision structures yeah so this here it comes um, No, it wasn't here. I'm sorry. I opened the. Uh, um, yeah, it was here. Yeah. So uh, it's this example. It tells me that I have values of x uh, from 20 to negative 10. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put them side by side here. Um, I'm gonna put this x and this is y and from negative 20, negative 19, or from 20. I'm sorry, 20, 19, and I'm gonna drag it. Till I go to um, negative 10 um, I'm gonna zoom out and here I'm gonna calculate y according to the criteria that's mentioned here so I have um, an equation to calculate y for x greater than 10 and the criteria to calculate y for x between 0 and 10 and the criteria to calculate y for x smaller than 0 so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna write my if condition so uh, I have if the logical test the first uh, the first test is here it's x greater than 10 and if this is fulfilled then I will have this x power 2 minus 6x plus 10 and now I'm done with the value if true. However, when I go to the value if false, I'm I'm facing now two conditions. It's not like what we did before. If it's true, then do this. If it's false, do this, do that. I have now uh, two more options here. And to to manage this uh, or or um, transform this into the uh, a formula in Excel, I have to put another if condition in the value if false. So I'm gonna put if and start the whole thing from the beginning I have now x it's greater than or equals to 0 I would have it as 5 multiplied by x and otherwise I would have it negative x power 2 um, you would close a lot of brackets at the end so you have to make sure that you close all the brackets so this is the function that I did so it's uh, th this is what we call the nested um, if condition I have something uh, not right here oh so I, I, I'm glad that I, I did this mistake so let's go first uh, one by one so um, what I did again just to 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 be 
so we, we are all on the same page so I have this is the condition which is this and this is the value if true okay and this is the value if false which is another if condition so we notice that this is an if inside an if what we did this is what we call the nested ifs and you would notice that we have two if functions for three conditions and we had before one if function for two conditions so we have the number of ifs uh, or if functions that we're going to use are one less than the number of conditions that we have in our case uh, so we had here three so we used two ifs um, so uh, this is how we did it uh, there are two points that are i think most of you might think of the first is um, why did it work well for from 20 to 11 which is for this case and it gave an error for all the values below so the, the there is a mistake that I did in the in the function which is this it's not X it is this cell so I should choose this cell um, and uh, and this is the mistake I did I, I it, it was not intention but I'm glad that I did this 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 mistake so the problem or, or the, the question that will jump in your mind is that why did it work well for all these values and it didn't see any problem with the function until it came to this point when x is equal to 10 and the answer to this is that the 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 Microsoft Excel does not look at this part which is the value if false until the condition is not fulfilled as long as this is fulfilled it doesn't care what you put here i can i can write the same function here like this um, here and i would put the value if false anything anything it doesn't there is nothing in the world that that looks like this uh, excel does not understand it but as long as it is in the value if false and it does not look at the value if false now so it doesn't matter what you put here it, it will feel the problem when the value if false is part of the solution is when you when the condition is not fulfilled and it's looking at the value if false so this is kind of a nice mistake that I did um, so now when I fix it, the, the problem everything is now working fine the second and the last point that I'm gonna uh, talk about is that um, shouldn't we put two conditions here so the condition that I have here it is between 10 and 0 and what I put here is that it is greater than or equal to 0 only I didn't mention anything about this part of the problem okay so uh, we can we can do something else um, I, I posted another video about the relation and logical uh, operations so you can you can uh, see this if you do not understand what I'm doing so I can put an and which is merging two uh, or, or combining two uh, conditions so I'm, I'm gonna put C 18 is smaller than or equals to 10 um, and so so by writing this I am putting this as two separate conditions it is greater than or equal to zero or and smaller than or equal to ten this is exactly what I did and if you see the numbers here now and if you see the numbers after I drag you would not see any difference so it doesn't matter actually if I do this or I keep it as I um, did in the beginning uh, as it was um, so the, the, the question is why um, and the answer is the same answer to the previous problem <coughs> or the previous issue that we faced before um, Microsoft Excel will not will not see the other if condition if this condition is fulfilled so this is gonna be part of the or, or it's gonna be um, um, uh, calculated uh, if uh, C18 is not greater than 10 so putting this as another condition here does not add any any new information because it's not gonna see this unless this condition is not fulfilled so by 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 going to this part we know for sure that C18 is not greater than 10 so you can put it it's not it's not wrong but it's not adding any new information to the if conditional that you um, are using so these are the three cases of if conditional the next video uh, for the uh, for the terminal velocity of falling bodies is kind of an application for this. I I, I I recorded this video because I felt that those who do not have a very strong background of chemical engineering or who are not engineers um, at all, 
uh, might feel it difficult to grasp what I'm trying to say. So I hope this makes it clear. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.